I'm John McPeak, and you're watching the initial program of Community Focus, presented by the Friends of MCTV. Carol Rumba was named Executive Director of Creative 360 in July of this year, and she has joined us to talk about the programs and schedule of classes offered by Creative 360. Welcome to Community Focus. Thank you, John. Carol, give us a brief history and a description of Creative 360. Well, Creative 360 began in 1994, and it uh, started through the Summer Creativity Fellowship at Northwood University. That was the Alden B. Dow Creativity Center. And Midland Art Educators, Linda Z. Smith and mm -hmm. Cynthia Keefe, developed a proposal for a community-based arts organization where everyone would be welcome and encouraged to unleash their creativity. And this became the Creative Spirit Center, which opened in a location downtown. Now we're located at 1517 Bayless in the Alden B. Dow a building originally built for the Midland Salvation Army. And five years ago, we adopted a new name, Creative 360, to reflect our mission to provide an environment to experience for, an experience for everyone to express and expand their creativity. Um, we believe that every human being is creative, like you. Well. <laughs> well, how about the background information on the Creative 360's new executive director? Well, as you mentioned, I became executive director in July after Carol Speltz retired. I've been uh, involved in the arts here in Midland and the greater uh, area for about 20 years now. And I came here originally to work at the Midland Center for the Arts. And, uh, and so this is a, is a marvelous opportunity for me to use uh, my skills in uh, the theater, um, music, and the arts to benefit Creative 360 and the community. Well, Creative 360 has programs, they have classes, they have events. What are the main programs at this time with at Creative 360? Well, we're looking at our new fall schedule. And within that, we have three main programs. The first one is called Art Shop. And Art Shop programs offer people of all abilities opportunity for arts education. Our fall classes will begin in September, on September 8th. And we offer a wide variety of classes, including yoga, um, movement, uh, wearable art, cooking, uh, jewelry, beading, painting, uh, woodworking, almost, uh, almost all of the media, and, mm -hmm. and all very interesting and very inclusive classes. And then you, the, another program is Yes We Can? Yes We Can is our program celebrating the creativity of artists 80 years old and older. And that was a very successful program last year, so we are repeating some of the program initiatives that we had last year, including the uh, Tuesday Teas. Tuesday Teas begin on September 9th, and they run through December. We're also presenting a fascinating speaker series, which will include a Dr. Basil Clark, and he's presenting on the legend of King Arthur. Oh. Our newest program is called Vision Quest, and it's a program that this season will stimulate the discussion of folk art, outsider art, and visionary art. And we kick this program off with a wonderful exhibit of folk art, and it also includes, uh, the vision, vision Quest also includes music and dance, storytelling, a teacher workshop, a speaker series, and tours of the John Pratt Mosaic House. Well, what are some of your upcoming events uh, in the next few months? Well, our upcoming events include a uh, Gemini in concert. Um, San and Laz are twin brothers, and they will be at Creative 360 on September 28th at 1 o'clock. It's a Sunday afternoon. And they present a wonderful world of music, uh, uh, a dozen or more instruments, and it will also feature the choirs from Carpenter and Plymouth Elementary Schools. So that's going to be lots of fun. We also have our night cabaret, which is back again in October, October 25th. It will feature a variety of local singers, and it will be emceed by the terrific and beautiful Laura Brigham. She will be seen shortly in Shrek, and she was seen last season in Les Miserables. 
And then we have Art in the Dark, which is an exhibit that will be exploring art that is touchable. And we will also hear from our visually impaired friends and artists and how they experience and how they create art. And that display will start November 7th and run through the 5th of December. And then shortly after that is our secondhand Picasso sale. And that's an opportunity for you to purchase your own original art, John. So you don't want to miss that. I'm, I'm prepared. <laughs> and then we have Dinner with Theater, uh, Dinner Theater with Shakespeare again this year. And it returns in December with short scenes of Shakespeare, great characters, and a terrific meal. So a lot going on. What's the best way for folks to find out more about the programs and events that we've talked about as well as other Creative 360 activities? Well, our new schedule is just out and it is actually going to be in the Sunday paper on uh, 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 August the 31st. And you can also pick up a schedule at a variety of area stores and we also mail it. And it will be on our website so you can download it. Well, thank you, Carol, for enlightening our viewers on all of the varied aspects of Creative 360. Thank you. The final segment today will feature information about a Midland County annual event that is in its 35th year.